Hi friends, it's Quenby, Grateful Queen here on YouTube, and today I have a retail arbitrage video for you from the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. So my plan in the video is to tell you everything I know about the sale and then take you into TJ Maxx with me as I'm shopping and do a haul of everything I bought to resell on eBay and Poshmark for profit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller. I've been selling on eBay for eight years and Poshmark about two years. I shop at places like thrift stores, yard sales. I do some thread up unboxings. I do a little retail arbitrage. I buy things to resell on Poshmark and eBay, mostly clothes and accessories. Um, so we would love to have you as part of our community here on the channel. We have a really great group of people in the comments. And my goal on the channel is just to share my love of thrifting and bargain shopping and reselling. I love working from home and running my own business, so I hope this channel might inspire you to do the same. So, people always ask me, how do you find out about the yellow tag sale? When is it happening? Where is it happening? So I'm gonna tell you everything I know. There are some videos on my channel from last year. There's two videos from the yellow tag sale, so you can go back and watch those. Um, I'm on Instagram, and that's usually how I find out about the yellow tag sale at TJ Maxx. I'm at Grateful Queen B on Instagram, so I'd love to say hi to you over there. And that's where I get a lot of my reseller information. From what I understand, the yellow tag sale happens sometime in January, usually the beginning of January, but it seems to be different depending on location because some resellers over on Instagram are saying they've gone to their TJ Maxx and it's just the usual red clearance tag, so there's not an additional yellow tag clearance on there, so the sale hasn't started for them yet. I'm recording this video on January 9th, I believe, and I just heard the first rumblings about it on Instagram, so I went right over because it's usually a really good sale. Um, I'm gonna do a thrift haul for you. Not a thrift haul, it's a retail arbitrage haul, but I'm going to do it right in the store. I did it right in the TJ Maxx store because I wanted to get this video up for you quickly while the TJ Maxx sale is happening so you can decide whether you think it's right for you and your business or for you personally, and you might wanna go over there. A few things before I get into the haul, I have to talk over it because TJ Maxx was playing some music, and if you don't know on YouTube, if you play music without 
um, consent, you can get a copyright strike. So there's music in the background while I'm doing the haul. So I'm just going to talk through it and I'll tell you what I bought, uh, what it was retailing for and what I paid at the yellow tag clearance sale. I'll tell you the prices were a little higher than when I went last year. If you go back and watch my previous videos, a lot of the items that I bought last year at the sale were like four, five, six dollars. Things were more like 10 or 15. And it's a very free people heavy haul. Why? Free people's my favorite brand and it sells really well for me on Poshmark. So everything from this haul I'm probably going to put over on Poshmark. Uh, you can find links in the description section below to my eBay store and Poshmark closet. And as always, if there's something in the haul you just can't live without, uh, shoot me a message over on Instagram or at my email and uh, make me an offer. I can send it to you directly. Anything else I need to tell you before we get into it? I don't think so. I okay, so um, this top is by Chaser. It's the only Chaser top I found. It was only $7. Look at that cute uh, graphic and it's tie-dye, which is good. This was one of the more expensive items I bought at $25, but it's a Free People Teddy Coat. And Teddy Coats are extremely popular right now. It retailed for $168. I'm going to put it on Poshmark for about $99. That's what solds were looking like. I love it so much. Not going to let myself keep it though. This one I probably will let myself keep if I try it on and it fits me well. Look at all that embroidery on the waffle thermal and those balloon sleeves. It's so good. It retailed for $128 because there's a lot of detail on that one and I paid $15 for it. I did find a couple J. Jill pieces, which is great for my eBay store. This was only $10 for a new tags J. Jill thin linen cardigan. That'll do really well on eBay. That's where I put my more mature brands. Another waffle knit, but look at the bell sleeve on that one. A size small, bright red. I paid 15 bucks for that one. And my hair is kind of messy and I'm fixing it there. Great. Zara, a leopard print top because leopard print is really hot right now. I ended up passing on this because it did not have the new with tags from Zara. It only had the TJ Maxx tag on it. Otherwise, I might have picked it up for 10 bucks. Look at this piece, a hooded oversized sweater by Free People. Um, it's a really substantial piece. It was 168 originally. I think I paid, was it 15 or 25 on that one? Sorry, not exactly sure. But I was trying to get the more substantial pieces, which is why I passed on this Free People sweater. Ultimately, I really love it. But for these prices, I thought I wanted to stick with pieces like jackets, big sweaters, more substantial pieces. I really liked that one though. I have had my eye on this bomber style, baseball style jacket from Pea People forever. And I got it for 25 bucks when it retailed for 198 originally. I hope it fits me. If not, it'll go on posh. This is another uh, new with tags, J. Jill open front cardigan for 10 bucks for eBay. Oh my gosh. Yes, a waffle knit. I think they call this the Aztec arms or Aztec sleeves. I paid 15 for it and I hope it fits me because I absolutely love it. If not, it'll go over on Posh. $98 originally. Again with the fixing my hair. Um, okay. Oh gosh, a big, huge, chunky knit, oversized cardigan sweater by Free People. I hope I can find stock photos. That one was only 15. I think that was really good. I think it retailed pretty high at 168. Here I am flipping through some racks, showing you some of the options. I liked this graphic girl on this one but um, I didn't recognize the brand. Flipping through the rocks to see what else I could find. There was a lot still there, you guys. I have more haul coming up after this, don't worry. I did end up picking up one of these thermals. I love the oversized dolman, which is really wide at the chest with narrow arms. It's a really flattering look and really in style. 
I really loved this Free People piece, but I had to pass on it because it was too expensive at $25. But I loved the, <laughs> I loved the peplum hem on that one. I really liked this um, Splendid Chunky Knit Sweater. Splendid retails really high, but it just doesn't um, resell that well. I like the pieces and styles and the fabrics they use. This next piece coming up is gorgeous. Look at all that beading on it and velvet. Um, that one, again, was just a little too pricey. It was by Velvet. The brand Velvet, Marks and Spencer, sold at Anthropology. They just wanted $25 for that, and I thought it was too much. You'll see this free people sweater in the haul. I loved it and picked it up for sure. Okay, Quen B, what are you doing? I really liked this animal print sweater. It's by the brand Marled, which is sometimes sold at Bloomingdale's and Saks and stuff. But um, I ended up passing on it. These were size 14 and they're cut from the cloth, K-U-T. They wanted $14. I ended up passing on those. I thought that was a little expensive, even for new with tags. That brand does okay for me though, but it's more like $20 range. This I just wanted to show you guys. Look at this. Um, What is this I'm saying? Uh, that was Michael uh, Kors. It's just an interesting shiny kind of puffer vest. So you can see here, there was a really big clearance section. It was probably like eight or ten racks, and there were a lot of people there. I didn't subscribe to Grateful Queen, so I had bad luck. I only made a little bit of money. I had super bad luck. Now, I did subscribe to Grateful Queen, so I had great luck. I could reach when I was just a child. I was able to afford ruby and diamond bracelets. And I had the best luck ever. I won the soccer game. I had so much money. Woo! We raised money! I love this little Madewell top. It's only 10 bucks, but it doesn't have the original tag. Look at those tiers of eyelet. That's so cute. I really loved this cloth and stone um, poncho, but it was $25. It was a heavyweight piece, really big. I, I would buy that for myself for 25 bucks, but not for resale. But it was a really uh, great piece. There was a lot I passed on that just seemed a little expensive, and a lot of it didn't have its original new with tags. This is Lucky Brand, a cute boho peasant top, but they wanted 15 for that, which I thought was just way too much. They had a lot of sweaters, which I was... It wasn't like spring or summer stuff that they were trying to offload. They had a lot of current season stuff. Um, this, I think you saw in the haul, my, the first part of my haul. The next part of the haul is coming up. I put it in my cart. Look at all the stuff in my cart already. Um, but I ended up passing on that Zara one. I did pick up this beautiful red waffle thermal from Free People with that lace and eyelet. I just love it. And the bell sleeve. And here's that teddy coat you saw. These are really popular. 2019, 2020 style for sure. Um, I hope that one does well because I paid 25 bucks for I it. I really love this Free People sweater. It's a great color, a dolman, widest at the chest. And it was only $10, size small, 108 originally. I really like the color and kind of the open knit on that. This is sort of like an oversized, one of their waffle knits has a drapey cowl neck, really oversized on this one, but what a pretty blue color, 78 originally, and I paid 12. I got this one, I might keep it. It's white, oversized, um, it has a tie knot, and it was $98 originally, and I paid only $10 for it. I love white, I wear it a lot all year round. This piece, I can't wait to find a stock photo and some information. I paid $25 for it, ouch, that's a lot, but it has llamas on it. Llamas, llamas, huge oversized, kind of like a poncho with a hood, and um, I just think somebody's gotta have that with the llamas. This I ended up passing on, um, 
kind of cute, but the brand wasn't anything that great. It was only 10 bucks. Another Free People oversized waffle knit top. Really long, and it has got the fitted sleeves, and this one was 68 originally, and I paid 12 I'm going to list all these on Poshmark for people does well for me over there. This one, I'm sorry, I was looking forever trying to find the price tag, um, but I paid $10 for it. It's a really cool mustard color, and it has that lace strap in the back. And it's oversized and it has a really cool knotted detail. So it was originally 78. These are my favorite tops. I can't wait to try one on. I think they call it, it's a waffle thermal, but with like an Aztec sleeve, I think they call it. A really big balloon sleeve. Um, and they, this one was 98 originally and I paid I think 12 or 15. I didn't show the tag just there. It was 12 or 15. This is a Free People oversized black top asymmetrical hem. I ended up passing on it because I was just trying to go with the pieces I thought were more special since I was paying up a little bit. Like this. This is a really substantial piece. It's a chunky knit. $168 new. Wow. It's a sweater dress thick, heavy, oversized, chunky knit. And I love those um, button details. That would look so cute with some leggings. I did get a lot of stuff. I absolutely did, so fun. So here I am getting ready to check out with my overflowing cart. And I wanted to share with you guys, my total for all that stuff was $284.49. I hope you enjoy the video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of retail arbitrage what your experiences are with it. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.